Hello. Today, I want to show you how I append clothes on sculpted sims. It's actually similar, like with base sims. But after using a pose, you're probably going to be need to fix clothes. Also, you will get some tips for rendering in cycles. I recently myself learned a few things. I did a huge job for my story. I exported clothes from Sims 4 Studio and did their textures. So now for me, it's easier to append. About textures, you can watch my old video. The jeans are for base Sim, so it doesn't look good on my sculpted Sim. We have to fix it. Doing actually the same as with sculpting Sim. I actually don't remember when last time I was using a Sim with clothes from the game. The textures and realism is different. I learned about sculpting a few months ago. I didn't show you after learning it because my sculpting was terrible at first. But now I'm a bit more confident. Also, please let me know in the comments what next tutorial you would like to see. About skin textures. I don't know almost anything. I use skin shaders. I can show you how I use them. Also, I will leave a link for getting a shader. It costs $5. Shoes tutorial you also can find on my channel. There are a few different ways how to append shoes. At the end of the video, I will leave links to those videos. Now we are going to modifiers. And where is object put your sim there? Mine named is Darius Pearson. You're probably going to be named Rig. Depends if you change the name or not. Then mark them all and with shift drag to your rig, showing you that everything that works. And then we will go to add a pose and render the photo. never fix clothes in those parts which I will not render it's useless but this time I showed and it was kind of hard because of the pose doing everything here so in the scene I would do less job.
always render in cycles, so please look at the settings. Settings which I showed will decrease rendering time. Every time is different because of different scene and textures. If you have time and patience, you can always adjust the lighting. I don't have patience, so I will just change the position of my sim because I don't like how the shadows looks on him. Oh damn, my sim looks so small. We can change that easily. Just press S and make him bigger. See, sometimes feet are off the shoe. So I will just delete it because it's actually not needed in this render. Thanks for watching. Hope the tutorial was useful. Press like on the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also, don't forget to write in the comments what tutorial you need. If I will know, I will show. Hope you having a good day, night, or morning. 
See you in the next video.